Spring is probably one of the most interesting seasons that you'll find. After the winter snows have gone and the ice and all the rain and the flooding, all the new life comes out. Insects, birds, animals, badgers, you name it. But trying to get close to these things can be very difficult. So, in this episode of The Gentleman Maker, we're going to build the life cap, which is essentially an automated camera that allows us to take pictures of wildlife, both at day and night. Is the camera off? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Time to get this little. So, for this project, you will need an Arduino Uno, a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, a generic webcam, a 5 volt relay, a 2N3904BJT transistor, 12 IR LEDs, 12 220 ohm resistors, one 1K ohm resistor, an ultrasonic module, some circuit construction materials, various cables for connecting modules, circuits and the Arduino together, and a waterproof box so that all of this can be mounted inside. All the parts in this project can be found from DigiKey, link in the description below. So to power this project, I'm going to be using the solar panel and this solar panel comes with a solar charger and the reason why I really want to use this is because it comes with a USB port, which means I can directly power the Raspberry Pi without needing any kind of power converter. Now this can cause a few issues, especially if this thing uses a linear regulator like a 7805 because that thing is going to just waste power like there's no tomorrow. So you'll get less than an hour probably using this to power the Pi. But if it does actually use a DC-DC converter, then I'm in luck. So this is how I'm going to power it, which is going to be a solar panel connected to a solar charger connected to a lead acid battery. So here is the schemic schematic for the project. We have a relay controlling the infrared LED array, which is then controlled by a single 2N3904 transistor, which is then controlled by the Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno is also connected to an ultrasonic module, and this entire system is connected to the Raspberry Pi using a single USB cable. When an animal crosses the ultrasonic module, the range reading from this module will decrease. This reduction in the distance will be picked up by the Arduino Uno, and then will send a serial message to the Raspberry Pi. At the same time, the Arduino Uno will also trigger the relay to turn on for five seconds. Turning on this relay will enable power to the infrared LED array, and this will help to give us a bit of night vision so we can see the animal if we're taking a picture at night. When the Raspberry Pi picks up this message, it will also take a picture using the USB webcam. The code for the Arduino has been written in C using the Arduino IDE, while the code for the Raspberry Pi has been written in Python. You can read more about and download the full code on All About Circuits. So now that we've looked at the software and the hardware, it's time to put it all together into its box. I've cut out a few holes in this box so the camera can see out and the ultrasonic module can detect nearby objects. I've also glued the IR floodlight on the outside of the box so that when things pass by in the night, the box can see it. So with this built, all we have to do now is go outside and test it out. Well, that's all we have time for today in this episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.